So someone could be in a panic about an illusion. Someone is having migraines, nightmares. A lack of intuition has brought in a lack of decisions as well. Someone is emotionally imbalanced and overwhelmed. I feel someone could be in a mood. This is snappy energy from someone who is in regret about you but not wanting to speak about it. I feel this is someone who is overly emotional about being stuck in the matrix, confused about a situation that they should have been clear on. I feel this is someone who is wanting to come out of a storm, but I feel in their case, when it rains, it pours. This is someone who wants to come out of a painful debt. Hmm. Someone believes a debt has been paid. Hmm. This is someone who has reckless energy. Hmm. Reckless energy of someone who is unaware but they also feel scattered and blocked someone is feeling scattered because they were never listening or they were never being fair in a situation that was unique or everything they prayed for someone has failed to communicate because they're too scattered I feel someone got the warning to cut off fake friends bad habits and this is why someone is in a mood especially about you. There could be some arguments or someone suggesting or bringing you up and someone is not wanting to be reminded of you because they can't get next to you. I feel this is someone who has a fear of speaking. Their throat chakra is being affected here in the reverse. I feel this is someone who wants to make a U-turn when it comes to you, but they're going through tower moments or there's tower, tower moments ahead. Hmm. But I feel someone is still not seeing the signs due to their lack of awareness. But I feel they're still in the process of paying their dues. I feel this is someone who is sitting in a space of illusion, confusion, mental vagueness when it comes to the truth. But I feel someone is being oblivious to the truth on purpose. But I also feel they're in a space where they're wanting to come out of a space, wanting to come out of hiding. There's too many secrets. There's too much destruction. This is why someone is wanting to let go and communicate. I feel this is someone who is just too stubborn. Wow. So for many of you, we have Libra energy, Pisces energy. Hmm. We also have Cancer. So for many of you, Oh, Capricorn as well, stubborn energy here. So for many of you, someone is definitely thinking about what they lost, thinking about what they're dealing with, hmm. hoping that they could be wrong in some way, but someone is experiencing the truth, not only about you, but about self and the path they took. Someone is being unmasked around them. Someone can believe their eyes, their heart, hmm. what they gave up for it. Hmm. But I feel someone has no more fight. Something has stalled. Someone is wanting to walk away. Someone is wanting to retreat. I feel this is someone who is refusing to compromise in another situation. I feel they're having a sense of panic or wanting to belong. I feel this is someone who is having some sort of revelation. Wow. Someone is going through a dark night of the soul. They're lacking energy and feeling like they're going crazy all because of what they feel or some type of confusion they're involved in. Someone feels lost, stuck, stuck in a space of despair and fear, isolating themselves because of the pain. I feel someone's going through a painful period when it comes to manipulation. Someone is going through a painful period when it comes to someone who is draining them or keeping them in a space where they can only be seen as a fraud. I feel the scammer is being scammed or the froster is being frauded. I feel there's a lot of lies. This is someone who really doesn't know who they could trust, but I feel they could be going through an inner battle because they know they could trust you. Wow, this is someone who's very moody. I feel they're lacking confidence. They're in a very abusive situation where they could be dealing with someone who is disloyal. This could be a tyrant as well, but someone could also be a bad example or hot-tempered here. But whoever this is, they're watching. This is someone who has been very passive-aggressive. Hmm. But now that something is coming full circle here with the world card, someone knows their imbalance is coming from what they chose. Wow. 
wasted time, wasted energy, all because of instant gratification. Someone is wanting to cancel something. Someone is wanting to get out of something that they never thought wouldn't go their way. Yet due to the burnt bridges and the missed opportunities, someone is going to have to live with what they have done or complete a process. I feel someone needs to complete a process when it comes to paying their dues and a cycle that they created or manifested out of disrespecting you. But I feel this is someone who is too, too distorted or moody to see that they flip-flopped, created this mess. They're too angry. Hmm. This is someone who is holding some type of hatred in their heart, not knowing who to trust or who to hate. Someone's about to realize what they took a chance on wasn't even worth it. I feel whatever they're dealing with is making them weaker, needy, bitter, repressed, depressed, spiteful, insecure. Someone is draining them. And this is why they are blocked creatively, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. I feel someone is making them weaker by the day. Ace of Swords is letting me know. It's all because they're in need of foundation and personal truth. I feel something is blocked. Hmm. Whether you have them blocked or they have you blocked, someone is wanting to be unblocked. But as I said before, there is a spiritual debt, a mental debt. I feel there is a huge debt for them to pay. And I feel what they're currently dealing with is only a tip of the iceberg. I feel someone is dealing with some very destructive behaviors. There's no victory. There's no truth. There's no m mental clarity. Ace of Swords is letting me know someone is sitting in a space where their destructive behaviors got them nowhere mm. because they can't even get things together. Someone is hitting rock bottom mm. because they didn't make better choices. They didn't save money. They need a better job. Or someone is needing to work on self, work on life. Mm. This is someone who is feeling unmotivated about their current circumstances. But I feel due to a sudden change, there will be some type of communication. Someone wants to test the waters when it comes to you, but I feel in so many ways, they're going to have to handle whatever they're dealing with first. Whoever or whatever they're dealing with is sent to destroy, hide, keep them unmotivated to purpose, to let go, to release or even surrender or even find any clarity. Whatever they're dealing with is supposed to keep them ungrounded and unaware when it comes to you. You're coming out as a light worker here. You could be old school or someone knows that you're not gonna sugarcoat things. They know with you, they're gonna get the truth and so much more and this is why this energy yearns for you because whoever they have become is no longer an image or a view of themselves that they can continue to stare at in the mirror someone has definitely sent them through a dark night of a soul someone has drained them or someone is wishing they never drained you but whatever the case someone is in deep regret or they will be Hmm. Someone is thinking about how gullible they were in a situation because now they're thinking about how imbalanced things were. Hmm. Things are or things were, but someone is wanting something to come to completion, but I feel it's going to have to come full circle. This energy is coming out as distorted, immature, and I feel whatever they have reaped in this season, they are definitely sowing. This is why they're coming out as needy when they used to be confident in the things they choose to do. I feel this is someone who is coming out as a wasted talent because they're confused on how things got this way, but I feel they are a huge part of the problem and they could be getting a reality check. Mm. Someone is definitely caught up here, caught up in the 3D. Someone is definitely getting a blow by blow or a tit for tat with someone who is equally petty, equally abusive, or equally clueless as they are. I feel this is someone who created a missed opportunity due to their low self-esteem and this is why they have hit rock bottom. 
I feel someone has hit rock bottom when it comes to friends, family, exes, poor decisions. Someone who is now obsessed or overtaking a situation. But whatever it is, it is attached to a reality check and destruction. Wow. Someone could also have a mental illness here. Please take it how it resonates. Not everything applies. But someone's low self-esteem has brought them to shame. Someone is trying to dominate a situation. But they're starting to feel helpless. Wanting to move forward. But something or someone refuses to be forgotten so easily. Someone is definitely holding on from the past. Or this could also be from the energies that they have currently involved themselves with but I feel there was previously no strings attached but someone who is unhealed or wounded is definitely holding on for dear life but I feel due to the structure or someone still taking chances gambling with life and these dark sides to their very unhealthy ego someone's greed is about to cause their worst fears to be materialized as someone is not only taking a gamble with self but also with the chances they were given as they may have run out of time. I feel someone may have hit rock bottom because of their lack of direction or manipulation. There's a lot of anxiety, stress due to bad choices or someone being flighty or two-faced. I feel someone could be dealing with a karmic partner or a toxic situation that they never expected to go downhill or break them down so bad. I feel while this energy is going through upheavals and awakenings, many of you are breaking the curse while someone is now feeling like they can't be accepted. You're going through good fortune. I feel like you could be going through good fortune while someone is wanting to move or expecting grace, but I feel there will be a tower moment for someone who is having money issues as well as major choices and love to deal with hmm. this is someone who could be feeling guilty because they're going through conflict disharmony all because of what they chose to neglect as well as their lack of growth hmm. someone thought that you were being overbearing but i feel you were only trying to to show that you cared now someone is going through poverty losses, sacrifice. Someone is hitting rock bottom because they couldn't see the warnings or they just wouldn't listen. Someone was unaware and now their lack of focus is causing more friction because they chose material things over love or comfort over real life. Someone is now wanting to ground themselves with you because with you they feel safe, rooted, grounded. I feel this is someone who's coming out as rigid because they're wanting the floodgates to open, but their fears and imbalances, anxiety is, is holding it, holding them back. Hmm. We have cancer energy here again. Wow. So there's feminine energy around them that is keeping them in a space where they feel they can't make something up to you. I feel something could be holding them back or someone is holding something over their head. But whatever the case, someone is still not choosing the better things in life. And this is why they're having shallow victories. Someone knows they need to focus more on the better things, but it's almost like they keep coming back to you or their thoughts keep keep them in a space where all they can think about is what is lost or no longer given. Someone is going through a lot and they are wishing they were back with you. Well, someone has a lot of unsent messages here. There's a lot of stress that keeps them blocked, blocked from what they want to say or need to say. But I also feel someone was playing a lot of mind games just to keep your attention or wanting your attention. But now they're going through obstacles and stress. Hmm. Someone is now trying to overcome some obstacles here. And this is why they're guarded to reaching out to you or giving in to you. I feel this is someone who is holding back something because they're going through something tough. Hmm. And they're also feeling like your heart 
is naturally closed because of what they have done. I feel this is someone who could be apprehensive, uncertain about the future or any type of relationship or connection. And this is why they're stuck in something that is unstable. Wow. Yet I sense things that need to be resolved are not being resolved. But I feel something is going both ways here. So it seems like whoever they're dealing with, they're going tit for tat, or someone is trying to one-up someone else. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone, but someone is not wanting to settle. This energy feels like they deserve more. They feel like they deserve you. Someone is wanting to forget this third party, but there's too many issues, family issues. Someone knows they are unsatisfied or unfulfilled, but there's too many physical needs or obstacles, hmm. emotions. Someone also feels they're being manipulated. Wow. So it seems like there's a lot of manipulation and this is why someone feels like they just can't make a decision. They're worried. They feel like someone is taking from them, exploiting them. Someone is wishing someone didn't have so much information about them. Wow. There's attachments here due to unhealthy behaviors, substances. I feel there's a lot of activity when it comes to unhealthy relationships and patterns as well. Someone is thinking about you because they're stuck in some type of facade, masquerade. Someone who is pretending to be all that they wanted or needed is now becoming a hidden enemy. Someone who has made themselves known, someone who is attacking them verbally, mentally, physically. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone, but someone is causing them to feel some type of way. And this is why they're holding some type of hurt, some type of resentment, bitter feelings, because they could be going through unfair treatment or this could be vice versa. They could be doing that to others. Wow. Whatever the case, someone is going through a situation ship where someone is going round and round in cycles of highs and lows where there is truly no resolve. I feel there is abuse emotionally, mentally, physically. Please take it how it resonates, but someone is truly wasting time. Wasting time in a situation that has become too much to deal with or clearly delusional. Someone feels like they should be filing papers that is not for everyone, but someone is definitely causing a separation because there is no loyalty. There's just magician energy. Hmm. Someone is just putting on a show or just putting on a front, and this energy just might be feeling some type of way because they know they feel for it. Someone is thinking about this third party in a different way because they are now seeing what type of games are being played, yet little do they know. They don't even know the half of it. Wow. Someone doesn't even know the half of it when it comes to the games that are being played. I feel there are other energies involved here. And this is why someone has so many trust issues. Because someone knows they're wasting time in a abusive situation that's going round and round. It's going round and round because they're not supposed to be there. They're starting to understand and receive that, but I feel for many of you, it just might be too late. I feel there's a lot of trust issues when it comes to the, them, this third party, and whatever they have drawn close to them. There's truth seeking energy here, but no one trusts anyone here. I feel someone's heart, their mind is too hazy to even find or even seek the truth, which is why things may have become more unbearable. I feel someone is tapping into their insecurities and I feel they could be doing this on purpose, but I feel someone is speaking up or not speaking up, please take it how it resonates, but someone is having money problems or issues because of what's going on behind the scenes. I feel whatever they did to you is being done tenfold and someone is getting caught up. Caught up in a double life or something that they thought was innocent or easy has now become their biggest nightmare. I feel someone is having a lot of trust issues when it comes to hazy vision, when it comes to a third party, a gold digger, someone who now is 
asking about or trying to take advantage of things that may be over their head but I feel someone failed to see something here someone refused to accept the reality of what they chose or even what they lost with you and this is how they got themselves in this hazy mess because they were too busy trying to get your attention or get attention from somewhere else now they're fearing a loss someone is fearing a loss and going through money issues but I feel their lack of money is also adding to the tension I feel their money losses and their sacrifices is adding to whatever they're trying to forget or avoid but whatever they're trying to dodge isn't going anywhere I feel this is someone who gave into something that was forbidden Wow, someone wasn't thinking from a safe space, wow. So someone didn't choose safety first when it comes to something that is forbidden. Now they're caught up and wanting to start over. Wanting to start over when they're knowing without a shadow of a doubt they're in a big mess. Mm. Someone is wanting a fresh start whether that is with you or just in life someone is wanting to get it right but I feel they could be confined in a situation or a mess that's in over their head and they're ashamed wanting to hide their pain I feel someone is ashamed of something that is lurking or going on in the past and they really don't want to speak up about it and I feel this attached to these these insecurities well Wow, uh, someone is feeling confined, feeling trapped in some type of connection or some type of environment that they feel is keeping them bound. And this is why they have the resentment. Hmm. They just want things to be better now. Better in love, but they're still dealing with the masquerade. They thought what they had with you was forever, but this energy feels like they're going to miss you forever. That's the new crave. Wow. So it seems like someone is no longer over romanticizing getting back with you. Someone knows that <coughs> but someone knows that the hole they have dug for themselves is deeper than anyone could even imagine even themselves and this is why they're hesitant when it comes to you because in so many ways they're not really sure they're not really sure who they're dealing with they think they do but they're not for certain I feel this is someone who is fearing a loss and this is why they're staying in something that is keeping them lost or agitated hmm. even though they want to come back Someone is wanting to come back together when it comes to you. Someone is wanting to enjoy your company, but they feel like whoever this acquaintance is, they're not going to let go. But I feel no one's happy, no one's loyal. There's too much drama, too much pain, too much is broken. Wow. Someone is starting to overthink when it comes to what they have done to you, what they have done to self because the drama has no end. So someone regrets running away, pushing you away, because they only fell into something weaker, a toxic situation, because they were over romanticizing, daydreaming, getting lost in their thoughts about what could be when they didn't realize they were losing everything. Wow. This energy wants to rebuild with you, but they feel like this third party may have developed too many feelings. They feel like they can't just blow something out of proportion and walk away after this third party has put in energy or helped them out in some way. They almost feel obligated or committed in some type of way. But whatever it is, it's causing too much pain, too much anxiety, and someone is wanting to release lighten their load, lighten the burden, hmm. lighten the burden 
and rebuild with you but many of you may even feel like it's all talk wow it's always lip service it always seems to be lip service when it comes to this energy someone who you feel is always playing with your heart or playing around this is push and pull energy here of someone who is always pulling away yet now they're wanting to pull away from a dark contract hmm. something that they now feel is not working out or just toxic they could be dealing with someone who is toxic, immature, someone who they know was a bad choice, something that won't be easily escaped, yet someone is planning to leave. Someone is planning to leave someone who is immature, just a fantasy, pretending to be everything they said they would, but it's just karmic energy. Here to teach them a lesson. Someone knows what they have with this third party is torn, fake. There's no foundation. Someone's about to be dumped, kicked kick to the curb. Someone could be finessing some type of scenario or situation, but in so many ways, someone could also be setting fires, hoping they don't get burned. I feel this is someone who is completely worried, but knowing they need to fess up come clean about their mistakes or this dysfunctional situation that now has them trapped or will be. I feel hmm, someone wants out, but they're about to be blindsided. Someone's about to be blindsided even worse than you were, and this is why there are so many emotions and even arguments about you. There's a hidden truth where there's lies bubbling beneath the surface that are now coming up to the light and someone's wanting to run but they're realizing there is ex no escaping the truth no matter what they feel someone's going to have to give an apology or come clean with themselves but either way someone's going to have to be real even if it's for the first time because without it they're going nowhere as many of you would say, there's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide when it comes to someone resisting a deep connection, love, foundation, the building blocks of something real. But I feel someone now has their eyes wide shut. Hmm. Wow. So it's like someone is refusing to see what they know is true. They know they're not loyal, so they're dealing with the same energy believing the grass was greener on the other side but nothing was better wow. just manipulation guarded energy and now someone else's walls is up and so is theirs someone is wanting to move let go of a connection move on but there's too much resentment and someone is still invested in some type of illusion or pipe dream i feel someone is realizing what they had with you was real but someone doesn't want to step up. Someone doesn't want to be adult about a situation. Doesn't want to step in parenthood. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone. But someone has become unreliable because they feel like they're too damaged. Wow. For some of you, they feel like they're too damaged or they feel like the damage is done, especially when it comes to breaking your heart. Someone feels like they don't have the glue or the time to hold on. But I feel in many cases, or some cases, it is to be continued. Because someone still has love for you. I feel someone has love for you, but healed or unhealed, someone's going to have to find their way with or without you. Because it is not, this is not your um, cross to bear. Um, because someone is truly dealing with something toxic. And if they are staying at a distance because they don't know how toxic this third party or environment is it's only because the abuse has gotten worse but as i said before it has yet to reach its peak let's get some more energy here of course if you guys are enjoying the reading please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video final energy here hmm. Here. 
So it seems like someone wants to make an offer or pro propose something, but they also feel like they have to step up in a different way. So someone feels like they need to step up or reveal some type of truth bomb, but I feel things are not working because you're just not seeing eye to eye. You're not seeing eye to eye when it comes to heartbreak or how they broke your heart or even morals, standards, family values, you name it. I feel the both of you are somewhat at odds. But I feel this is someone who wants to send some type of message about a soul contract that they still feel they have with you. I feel this is someone who feels they can work something out or you can work together make more memories but someone feels like they're not finished yet with this energy someone's still not letting go or letting them forget something someone is holding something over their head or someone is making it hard for them to change as this energy is in regret for being a liar or taking a gamble on a special connection so it seems like this energy regrets being in now, just fishing around because now they're going round and round in a mood, stressed out over money, a toxic energy, a toxic relationship. Hmm. When they are still a sucker for you hmm. or someone is stressed out about being a sucker for love. Wow, because they're not feeling well. Someone's not feeling too good. Whether that is emotionally, financially, you name it, this energy is bombed out about it. Someone regrets chasing love, chasing a thrill, because now they're struggling through it. Someone is struggling through challenges, getting into fights, or constantly fighting. Constantly fighting. Constantly fighting, and someone is in their emotions or in their feelings, or someone is fighting over emotions and feelings. But someone is wanting to mend their broken heart. But I also feel time is a factor. There's secrets. There's a lot being exposed here. And someone who thought something was temporarily closed with you is now feeling the cycle they're in will never change. I feel this is someone who is down in the dump about their choices, spending habits, whatever is heating up. They're now wanting to escape. Someone feels like they're dealing with someone who is two-faced, a hater, a thief. But I feel in so many cases, everyone here, it's just, they're just pointing fingers. Because even if they tried to explain, no one still would understand. Because everyone is masking what they feel. There is no clarity. There is no true motive. Everyone is just taking what they can get. And this is why no one is truly being themselves. Being who they need to be just to get through it. This is why there is no thoughts of forgiveness or apologies. Someone feels like passion and lust can get them through it. This is why someone stays in a mood because they're using instant gratification to try to get through something. Someone is super shy or just super loose, but whatever it is, it's not working for them. It's just not working out. Now someone is in deep regret about lies and spending habits because whoever has created toxic energy in their life or whoever they're taking from financially is about to make things harder for everyone because someone feels like they've been pushed too far when truthfully I feel they're just in their emotions. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. Let's get some more energy. So someone is longing for change or longing to be in a different scenario, but whatever they're dealing with is holding on tight or it's going nowhere. And this is why they have a lot of guilt, pride, and ego. I feel this pride and ego is the reason why this energy is at a distance, yet I sense in so many ways the destruction they have caused is now starting to <sighs> reap. <laughs> So it seems like it's all starting to crumble for them. The ideals they thought would work, what they thought would fulfill them, it's it's not working out. It's not making any sense. And this is why someone is carrying the guilt because they never thought things wouldn't work out. 
Now there is destruction because of addictions, weaknesses. Someone's guarded about communication because they're still in cycles. Cycles of denial, not wanting to see or speak a truth, but it's in their face. They can't deny it. And this is why there is hard lessons to learn. This will be attached to their fears. Fears of rejections, of not being wanted. And this is why someone feels you're holding some type of resentment towards them. And this is why they're confused and holding resentment towards you. Someone doesn't want, doesn't want to see the signs because they are not ready to purge. Someone is not ready to release and make clear decisions of free will. And this is why their frequency has yet to change and they are still blocked. Blocked because they lack when it comes to integrity and decision. But I feel when it comes to their choices, they never truly had an end game. They just thought something would end up going their way, but now that there is challenges, challenges when it comes to reconciling, someone is wanting to wanting to be recognized by you again. Someone is wanting to be in position or wanting you to see love when you look at them again. I feel for many of you, you don't understand their choices, or this is someone who truly doesn't have any patience because there's still the energy of a mask here. Someone is needing to release karmic energies, temptation, weaknesses. Someone is needing to compromise when they never have because without it, there's no new beginnings. There's no change. There's no offer of healing or help for those who refuse to be humble. But I feel in this season, in this season, that won't be a choice. That won't be a choice for someone who is still separated from their choices and their secrets. Because I feel in this season, it's all, it's all going to come together and it's all going to run hand in hand. As they now realize many of the things they thought would never happen to them has now become their reality. I feel for many of them, the truth, the, the truth is starting to hurt. And it's only because they're too prideful to see a change, to get out of some type of emergency. But someone is definitely fed up and stressed out. Like I said before, this is someone who is living a lie and trying to run from it, but they're getting nowhere. They're getting nowhere by being guarded destructive or at the distance because they're only festering and causing more guilt, more pain for self because they don't want to be rejected. Someone is being fake or pretending they're too busy. I feel these secrets, lies, addictions, weaknesses is putting them through some type of karma, drama, a firestorm where there is nothing but loss, endings, and mental breakdowns. For someone who is realizing you were never the enemy, only the, only the truth, wow. So it seems like someone is going through a lot of choices, a firestorm of karma, addiction, secrets. Something is shocking. This is why this energy feels like they have to confess or spill a truth. And whatever this truth is, it just might be a truth bomb because this energy has been waiting to release it. Wow. Someone wants to release something. They want to talk, but they feel like it's too damaging. This energy feels like it would be the final nail in the coffin because, as I said before, you're all they think about. And they know you were never the issue or the problem yet. They still took a chance on something that they thought was solid. Wow. Now they only see it as a destructive move. I feel this energy is off and on, hot and cold with you because they're detached. Still going through something spiritually. This energy is going through an ego death, a downward spiral, um, a spiritual loss, or this is someone who's going through a spiritual awakening because they know they screwed up with their choices, 
how they chose to deal with you because of their petty ways or their hurt feelings. Someone took the easy way out all because they didn't want to do something or they wanted to avoid the discomfort of evolving or being a person of their word. They resulted to trying to humble or humiliate you. Wow. This energy was trying to embarrass you publicly or privately. Now they're the ones sitting in a space of shame and humiliation. I feel this energy results to being shady with you because they didn't know what to do. They were just living in the moment. Now they're ashamed, full of guilt. This energy is embarrassed by what they chose or where they ended up. Because in, in the end, someone knows they're in the wrong. Someone is wanting to close out a cycle. This energy is wanting to close out a cycle. They know they took a bite of the apple, but someone is wanting to return. They know they care for you. Someone knows they care for you, but this energy has a lot of healing to do. Because they left you hanging. Someone left you hanging just to invest in some type of illusion because there is no contact, there is no closure. Someone left you on red. Now someone is dealing with a toxic lifestyle, a toxic situation. Someone could be dealing with someone they now believe is crazy, obsessed, wanting to let them go at this point, but they also feel there is nowhere to hide. Someone is just bad news or someone is receiving bad news. But whatever the case, someone has a very bumpy road ahead for them. I feel this energy is going round and round in cycles or round and round when it comes to questions they are asking themselves when it comes to choices and moves they chose to make, especially when it comes to their anxiety and how they chose to move with you, their tone, their actions. Everything was off. Wow. Now they're triggered by the cycles, the lessons, the love and hate energy when dealing with this false environment or this toxic third party. Because now that they are seeing the real or understanding things for what they are, someone regrets wanting things their way. Too much pride and ego. Someone was reckless when it comes to love instant gratification. Someone knows they are in a space of massive regrets. So it seems like someone is having massive uh, regrets about being reckless in love or reckless when it comes to their energy, but whatever the case, someone is wanting to remove obstacles when it comes to a toxic energy, but they feel like they're not getting anywhere. And this is why they're stuck. Stuck in massive regrets as well as shame and pain because whatever they thought they were doing or wherever they thought they were going they have gone nowhere someone could be going through a lot when it comes to legal matters or just justice setting the balance someone could be going through a lot when it comes to a side hustle karmic lessons legal matters love-hate relationships someone is definitely under pressure and losing sleep someone is worried and replaying events thinking about everything even those who are now showing their true colors because now that they are seeing the true colors of others others are seeing the true colors of them and I feel now that everything is just falling apart. Someone, they can't cope. Yet the real problem is now that they realize they play themselves and life and love, they are trying to edge their way out because they know they're not happy. This is someone who is not happy when it comes to karmic ties, solutions, or the lack thereof, someone feels like they are blocked, scammed, feeling like shit. Someone is wanting to be illuminated to truth, discovery. Someone is wanting an awakening, but they're not knowing how rude that awakening is really going to be. Someone knows deep down they miss you. For some of you, you miss them too, but I feel you could be missing. You could be missing what you thought it could be. 
but I feel you're no longer in an illusion of who they are. I feel they could be dealing with a lot of things that cause them to think about the love that you gave or the love they want to give. But I feel they're dealing with a lot when it comes to a workplace, family. They're dealing with a lot of things, especially someone who is representing themselves as a twin flame, but something is false. Something is false when it comes to them, their energy, and someone is no longer wanting to be trapped. They feel like a clown, someone feels like a jackass, but it's no running from, from what they have created. Someone is trying to pray their way. Someone is trying to pray their way out of a situation, and for others, you could be praying for them. Praying that something doesn't take them down or take them out, because whatever this is, it will be final, or it will be fatal. But whatever the case, the police just might be involved. Someone is feeling like they've cursed themselves because someone only wants to create new life, new love for themselves, but they can't reach an end or they can't release something. And they're starting to feel something is just too late. Someone doesn't want to feel trapped or alone. Someone doesn't want to deal with the false twin flame, but something at work is not the same. They can't level up with their finances. I feel this is someone who doesn't want to experience this love and hate dynamic, but I feel it's the same pain that was given. Now that someone is under pressure, feeling anxiety because of their struggle, someone feels like they're running out of mental space, running out of time, and this is why they're feeling crazy wanting to send you a love message. I feel this is someone who is going through destruction and pain because they're going through karmic lessons. I feel this energy was never truly ready for what has been given because they have always been on the other side of the pain. But I feel things are getting real, real quick for someone who never thought it would hurt like this. Let's get some more energy here for those who are still sticking around. Thank you for tuning in. Final energy here from this deck. So someone does want balance, but someone else is lurking or luring, luring them in. Someone is hesitant. So you're coming out as Queen of Swords energy here, clearing something away, and someone is hesitant because they know that clearing them away will be easy. Someone is dealing with their shadow self or balance. They're trying to create something through choices. Yet they're struggling along. Blah, blah, blah. Is same thing, different day. Someone is dealing with the effects or the cause and effect of not having any type of loyalty. Which is why they could be holding on to you. But someone is still too immature to give you what you need. And this is why there's a lack when it comes to an offering. For many of you, I feel you could have... You hit the bullseye when it comes to something here. I feel someone feels like you you punched them in the gut or caused the final blow in the situation. It almost seems like this energy is mad at you. Magician energy here. Someone's being illuminated. Even though someone is mad at you, someone knows that you don't want to be a part of the freak show. For some of you, this energy is mad at you because you don't want to entertain something here. However, this energy is also upset because you're not putting them on a pedestal. However, something is being clear or cleared up, illuminated to someone who abandoned something. I feel this is someone who feels you abandoned this circus, but I feel this is something you never wanted or bought a ticket to, and this is why someone has become a loose cannon. This energy has become a loose cannon because they're all emotion. Someone knows something was a perfect match, but there are bad intentions. So their bad intentions really screwed something up with you. And I really do feel you tried. In fact, some of you are still trying. Still trying when it comes to someone who is keeping secrets or just a lost cause. But as I said before, the real problem here is someone knows they played themselves by investing in something that they believe to be easier, quicker, something they surrender to that they now feel is uniform or 
driving them crazy because trust me whatever they're attached to it's adding to the madness I feel for many of you this energy has become a loose cannon when it comes to this circus tent or this freak show whatever it is it's not helping them when it comes to their mental health if someone knows they're caught up they're just going with the flow but this flow is only screwing with their mental space and everyone around them because at this point I feel this third party is also being affected this third party knows something is coming because they're feeling angry foolish foolish for believing they were getting a better version of someone who has already failed you time and time again but I feel someone could be upset with you because they know they can't replace you. Someone knows they can't replace you. And this is why they're still stringing something along. Still stringing something along when it comes to this karmic lesson or karmic energy that they thought was innocent. But as I said before, it's become their worst nightmare. Someone is adding to the madness when it comes to this circuit, circus tent of anxiety but as I said before many of you have hit the bullseye when it comes to someone who is still not understanding how comfortable they have become in this confusion for many of you this is someone who is still playing games when it comes to an apology I feel this energy is being put in the limelight or they have become very popular for being a player or someone who has many lovers can't commit or dislike to play games but whatever the case someone's innocence is being affected or the innocence is being affected because someone is still on some monkey business I feel this is someone who is still being bold even though they can't be bold when speaking to you this energy is still putting on a show performing still being the ringmaster this is why many of you are not invested because you're not wanting to be a part of the ring show hmm. for many of you this energy has become dead weight or they're dealing with dead weight hmm. this is why someone is heavily thinking about you reflecting on some type of decision someone's trying their best to be logical but someone just may be stuck with whatever is weighing them down because if they're still in the space of being bold and resistant there's no solution for someone still flirting with danger hmm. juggling options I feel it's their so social circle or the things they have attached themselves to that has caused them to believe that they are some type of snake trauma hmm. but I feel they're dealing with something that is very sensitive this is a very delicate situation where someone has very deep regrets about what is damaged. Hmm. They're frustrated, but I feel they could be in a ring of fire. Someone could be in a ring of fire because they should have looked closer when it comes to those who are wearing a mask because now the mask, they're off. And someone's just confused to how to play this part of the game. I feel this is someone who is used to setting the rules and creating the damage, the chaos, the confusion, hurting those, but this energy is never in the position where they're vulnerable to the pain and the chaos. I feel this energy is thinking about everything, but as I said before, it's just whatever. One ear, in one ear and out the other, someone is thinking about their bold moves of womanizing or distorting something it's all drama someone knows something was all drama though, and they should have never left you hanging someone feels like a sucker someone who is now going through hard times challenges lessons all because they were testing the boundaries someone is now going through a period of being tested Someone is going through some stormy days when it comes to connections, affairs of the heart, love, hmm. true love. Because now something is dead and gone, someone feels everything is lost without you. Hmm. Because something definitely ain't sweet when it comes to someone they're dealing with 
who they now believe have bad intentions, secrets. Something is big news when it comes to something that has been left up in the air because someone is wanting to surrender to something that is more uniform. Someone is wanting to have more access to you. Someone is wanting you to let your guard down, but many of you have your guard up because of the mess they have gotten themselves into. Someone is going to have to fix something, and you, you're not going to be the one to fix it. Someone needs money? <laughs> Say what? Many of you are like, what? Um, I don't know about that, but many of you are sad about the position someone has gotten themselves into because there's a lot of manipulation here. And I also feel someone is still putting on an act because of timing. Someone feels like it's the wrong time to present something or make an offer towards you. But I feel time is not the issue when it comes to someone who has intentionally failed you. Let's get some more, some more energy here. Holy Spirit, some more energy here. Someone feels like someone is gatekeeping here. Someone feels like they have been denied access. Someone is feeling like you're holding back or they're being denied access on purpose. But someone knows that you're flawless, hmm. good or bad. You're everything they should have respected. Hmm. Someone is wanting to pull up on a down low. Someone is wanting to do something discreetly. But I feel someone is in their feelings when it comes to balance and trying to create it because they're still foolish and sitting in a space of losing their cool or just sitting in a space of madness as they truly do believe they have lost their mind. For many of you, this could be your energy thinking about them because of their choices, because they could be dealing with someone who is classless for the streets on demon time, but whatever the case, someone is definitely caught up because they couldn't peep game. They couldn't see the truth. While many of you were silently observing something, this energy is now silently thinking you don't care. But I feel someone is on a very slippery slope when it comes to what they say to you or what they think about you. Hmm. There's a chain of events here where there's a lot of consequences here when it comes to someone who is going to a last resort to gain some type of pity, but I feel many of you have no pity for them. Hmm. So for many of you, someone is wallowing in their tears or they're wanting you to have some type of sympathy for what they've gotten themselves into, but I feel these chain of events have caused some type of consequences where someone is really thinking how they underestimated you or underestimated a third party because they're low-key low key feeling like they've been catfished. <laughs> someone feels like they've been cursed, enchanted, catfished, whatever it is. Someone feels like they should have never walked into something. Someone should have never saw the green light in a situation. They had no boundaries. Someone was down for whatever. And now someone is hating the fact that they were head over heels or even sprung. Someone feels like someone cursed them, but they were truly infatuated with a thirst trap, wanting validation, wanting to be accepted. Someone is seeking attention. Now the joke's on them. Something has backfired for someone's silly games or silly decisions because they slept on you or thought that you would finish last. Someone is thinking they need a plan B. Hmm. So you've, it seems you've gone from not a care in the world or someone not being bothered about you. Hmm. Someone is now trying to seem unbothered when they truly care. So it seems someone is popping off. There is arguments. Someone is raging behind the scenes. It's almost cringe. It's repulsive what's going on here because someone is really tripping on someone else or this energy is being reciprocated by someone else. It's just back and forth energy here because someone else doesn't know how to deal. Someone is still not healing. So everyone is lashing out. As I said before, no one is truly happy here. Mm. But... Everything is changing, even though it seems like it's not. Everything is changing now that they're both in it to win it, going tit for tat. 
Someone's still making silly decisions. Silly decisions that are somewhat amusing to those who are watching, but I feel most don't care. I feel for you, you're giving something space, you're giving something time, you're giving someone time to realize what they truly had and what they truly gave up. Many of you have chosen to fall back. And I feel whatever was said or unsaid is a mic drop. It's on target. End of discussion. I feel many of you have proved a point, even if you have been silent and unbothered. I feel whatever you have done, it's been from a very unapologetic space and someone was never truly ready for that. Unpopular opinion or decision, many of you have fallen back and I feel that was definitely necessary because someone is definitely getting a reality check and blocking you and blocking blessings. Someone is being judged after doing something unspeakable because now they're uneasy, nervous, shocked, because they they truly miss you. Someone never thought how much they could miss you this way. Now they're receiving unwanted critiques, and I feel someone is also ruthless here because someone just might be homeless after breadcrumbing and playing with the situation. Something's about to be real, and it's going to get real legit. I feel something is going to get real hasty. Someone's going to regret some choices, not just with you, but just in life, love, everything. Someone's going to regret it all. And from the looks of it, someone already has an inkling what's about to happen. They just don't know the extent of it. I feel someone is low-key wanting this pity party, but I feel this is as this is at a last resort. Someone's doing a lot of things discreetly, but I feel it's only because they have lost their identity or they're still living this double life. But I feel this double life is the very thing that will bring them true understanding, but I feel it will only be through the rain and the pain. Let's get some more energy here. I'm not going to keep you guys for too long for those who truly want to know, truly want to care. Stick around, let's dig a little deeper. So it seems someone is doing something as a last resort because they're hesitant. They're hesitant and wanting to stay in the energy of being mad at you even though you're not the problem and they know that you're not the issue. Someone is still trying to sort through the madness, especially when it comes to their choices. As I said before, this energy feels like they're losing their mind. They don't know who to be upset with and this is due to their cloudy judgment. Because from what I can see, I feel this energy is getting to a place where they see the paint is starting to chip. Hmm. Someone knows that the paint is starting to chip in a very delicate situation. And I feel in this situation, the strings, they're about to come unattached. Hmm. So it seems the delicate strings in this situation, whatever is holding it together, it's all starting to crumble, fall apart. Someone is playing with fire and this is why they're in this crazy mindset or they're feeling crazy because they're angry. Angry and in denial about their karma. A dysfunctional family, third party. So it seems like someone's in deep denial about their narcissist ways or the fact that they're dealing with one. I feel this is someone who is dealing with dysfunctional energies, their parties, families, that they're wanting to be in denial about, but it's only making them more angry. Someone is playing a uh, tag team with them, hmm. wanting to get their attention or keep them bound and attached. Someone is draining them vampire energy here. Someone is playing victim. So as I said before, someone is definitely playing with their head cycle energy. Someone is feeling like a clown and they're dealing with one. Wow. So it seems like this third party is going to do whatever they can to get their way or get their lick back, whatever the case. Someone is trying to do some mind altering spell or trying to create some mind altering situations where someone feels cursed, damaged. Mm. Someone is pretending 
and I feel they're doing it on a very psychological level here. Someone just doesn't want to hurt. They want to let go of this facade. But someone else is holding on for dear life. Someone is also dealing with a toxic female, toxic energy. This is an older energy here. Unwanted opinions. Someone is really angry. They feel like they're angry all the time, but it's it's connected to the toxic energies, the facade, someone who is playing with fire when it comes to bad habits. I feel this energy is angry all the time because they feel stuck. And I feel in so many ways they could be crying out for help. I feel this is someone who is feeling like everyone is pl plotting on their downfall, but I feel it's their toxic ways and their tendencies that's causing this energy to lose grip, lose grip on reality. I feel this energy feels like they gotta do what they gotta do to get out of whatever they're in. But I feel the tactics and the choices that they are investing in is still gonna get them nowhere because they still have karma to pay. And I feel when it comes to karma, there's no way out, even if there was an easy way in. Reality is definitely starting to get real. Real for those who have been fake for too long. As they are definitely learning some very hard lessons here. I feel someone is learning some hard lessons through karma, bad situations, dysfunctional energies, anger. I feel it all, it all runs hand in hand, especially when it comes to their anger, because they're upset all the time. And there is toxic feminine energy here who is definitely stirring the pot. I feel someone is playing the victim here, pretending there's a lot of opinions here, but no one is truly helping. No one is truly helping when it comes to the mind games of this situation and someone's mental health is being I feel there's concerns when it comes to lies, dysfunctional energy, someone putting someone else in competition, but there's a lot of shade here, and someone else is definitely lighting the fire. Someone is lighting the fire, but I feel someone is also low-key giving in to the addiction. Someone is wanting and needing that instant gratification, just to feel sane, because... From what I can see, this energy is wearing many faces these days. I feel through addictions, competition, shady behavior, low-key, someone is definitely losing grip or losing their mind through their lives. And the fact that they are going to very low vibrational tactics just to get their way. Or so they think. Because they're only driving themselves mad in the end. Because all they had to do was just talk to you. It's just that simple. But this energy is taking something out of context or this energy is choosing to make something more complicated than it needs to be. And this is why many of you are keeping your distance or wanting them to do to make no moves towards you because many of you don't have time to deal with someone who has already broken your heart or they have too many personalities to deal with. For many of you, someone is going through a lot behind the scenes and they don't know who to talk to. And for some of you, this energy who is wearing many faces, this could also be the third party. Please take it how it resonates. But whoever it is, they have stabbed others in the back. They're continuing to do so. It's all attached to the mind games. And this is why someone is upset and always angry and giving in to bad habits. I feel someone is upset about what they have to do for money or someone is paying to play. But whatever it is, there's a lot of material behavior here for someone who is wanting to burn away the facts or burn away the evidence. But I feel there is no way out. Hmm. And for many of you, those who need to know already know the truth. Final energy here. Final deck, final deck, final deck. So there is a lot of secrets when it comes to someone who is coming out as a lost soul. Someone is still in denial about their betrayals and how they neglected and abandoned you. This is why someone is still investing in something because they don't want to believe. Someone doesn't want to believe they lost. Lost in life, and most importantly, lost you. 
because their life is a train wreck, a night terror, something someone is wanting to wake up from, but I feel something's too deep, something's too dark, which is why they're finding a hard time to find true meaning in what they have done, done in life and even to self, because someone is still sitting in a space of lies, trickery. Hmm. Not wanting to feel vulnerable to their choices. Someone is sitting in misery. Someone is wanting to communicate, but I feel something is falling on deaf ears. Someone is holding anger and resentment for what they are choosing to still invest in or even deal with. It's only because they're still not choosing to find self. This is why they're coming out as a lost soul because someone doesn't want to deal with their shame and regret. I feel someone is ashamed of a choice, ashamed of this third party because it's all running hand in hand, it's all collapsing and someone's having a heavy burden because of a karmic time. Someone knows now it was a big mistake, but I feel there's more to come when it comes to someone who has mindless direction, when it comes to being two-faced, reckless, because it only made something more complex more complicated than it needs to be and this is why things are coming out as a train wreck when it comes to someone who is angry at the world when they should be angry with themselves hmm. i feel this is someone who is now learning the hard way that not everyone can be trusted while also seeing what they thought they could find somewhere else they are now realizing they they truly had with you this is why they hold a sense of rage, resentment, trust issues. Hmm. There's rumors, gossip, someone is daydreaming, reminiscing, yet still feeling stuck. I feel this is someone who is feeling real regrets because they don't know how to do the shadow work. They don't know how to heal. Someone doesn't know how to heal from what they have done and what they're doing and what others expect of them someone just doesn't know which way to go they're so confused i feel this is someone who has real regrets about nightmares rebounds trust issues being vulnerable how they run and avoid things when it comes to them being lawless or disloyal wearing a mask or how they have stabbed you in the back i feel this energy is filled with so much doubt that nothing is casual but it is becoming obvious they're traumatized. This energy is traumatized after traumatizing you, but they're going through a death, a death in a cycle, where now it always feels like they're sitting in a space of misery. Hmm. Because they're going through real regrets after losing someone as real as you. I feel something seems like a waiting game for someone who's suffering in silence. This energy is going through chaos and confusion because of the heartbreak they have caused. Because now, they're going through it. I feel this energy is trying to battle their differences, their self-desires, their weaknesses. They're wanting you to have a change of heart. Because they have. So they're stalking, lurking, hoping that they'll find a way to test the waters with you, but in so many ways, they're just not ready. They're not ready to heal and function the way you need them to. This is why they're needing to go through this collapse. Someone is needing to hit rock bottom. Someone is needing to know they have made a big mistake because what they had with you won't be given again. They know that, and this is why they feel they won't have too much time. Too much time left to communicate and make something real with you, but I feel they also have to close some doors to open others, and this is why things are a train wreck, and someone is still silent and manipulating something. Wow. 
So this energy feels like they can master manipulate something to a breaking point, but I feel this energy is only going to cause something to be an emotional rape. Something is going to get real serious real fast for someone who has been fake and phony or dealing with someone who is dealing with some really hard insecurities because they're coming out with a heart and heart willing to do whatever they need to do to get what they need or feel they need. Someone has escaped reality when it comes to playing their childish games. Someone is addicted to be codependent. Wow. So, I don't know if that came out right, but someone is addicted to being codependent. <laughs> And they're not wanting to cut the cord. And this is why many of you are having to make a head of a hard decision in a situation that makes no sense because someone is still distorted in a fear of being in love. They're not seeing the naked truth. This is why someone can't refocus or refocus on you to find in any type of clarity because they're still living a lie and overthinking everything. And this is why they'll continue to be over-exhausted, losing, losing sleep, and losing self because they're empty inside. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.